So, Chris got out of work today and came home. He was home before me. Me and Sierra went out and did nails and went shopping. And he's working on our next project. I already got that shelf there for uh, the kitchen. I already stained up. All right. That's our last shelf that's going to go up on the wall. I'm going to take all the pots and pans back off, though, before you put it up. Because I don't want all dust on them. And he's working on our next project. Cabinet for all our cookware. Yep. Okay, coming to check on the progress. Wow. Didn't seem so big in my mind. <laughs> These are going to play as feet. Okay. Just going to give you a visual. After I trim these down and sand them, I'm going to have these boarded all the way around. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be the same thing down here in the front. So I'm going to box it in all the way around to the back, down the side here too. So that way, nothing goes underneath the shelf. Oh, yeah, because that's going to be the bottom, I yeah. see. But I don't want that at the top. I want a flat top. No, this is the. This is I know, the I know what you're saying, but the bottom, I, the top of it, I want to look just like it is. Okay, even with the two by four showing. Yeah, because that's going to go in the back, right? Even, that's going to be the same thing on the other side, on the back side. Oh, do it, do it, whatever, because I've already you lost me. <laughs> You've yeah. lost me. When I drew the plans up, it was a simple shelf. It was yeah, just a very a simple. simple it's going to be a with no shelf. legs on it, it was just going to be a square box with a couple shelves. That's all I. <laughs> you took it to a whole nother level, so my mind is not well, focusing. You have to do things to the shelf so it's going to hold the weight. You just can't just put boards here and here and then put a couple screws in it and call it a day. Eventually, the weight's going to push in the middle and then blow it out. Then hmm. what? I don't know. I'm tired, so it's looking good. I, I, I'll, it's looking fine. It's just, it'll look fine. Look what you did in the kitchen. It looks beautiful. I just, <laughs> it's looking good. It's going to be one heavy monster of a shelf. And then with all the cast iron, the, the Dutch oven on there, and all that weight, you don't mind that weight. The floor is going to no, be okay. I'm, I'm putting this together like it's supposed to. Okay, I'm just this... thinking about the weight on the floor. That's all I'm thinking about. Hello. You got two 13-year-old kids that run across the house just to go to get something to drink. Okay. And then hightail it back to their rooms. Okay, all right. It's getting cold now. I just came out so to... I was going to do a nice border around the front so you can take your hangers... And put a curtain rod across. Yep, yep. Sounds like a good idea. And I'm going to box this in in the front. Mm -hmm. So nothing goes underneath the shelf. Like Jack's toys? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to leave you to it because it's too cold for me. I don't want to be getting... I'm doing it anyway it's... I'm not running a table saw at night. Okay. Toodaloo, people. Till next time. All right. Oh, my. That's big. And that's the measurements that I put down there? Yeah. You think that's going to fit in that spot? Yeah. That's four feet. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm on the phone with studying. <laughs> yeah, it's four feet high. Well, four feet wide. Three feet high. The bottom shelf is 15 inches. Top sh middle shelf is 15 inches. And the top shelf six inches. An opening. Chris is a carpenter now. Wow. I'm doing what I can. So this is my new shelf. We're going to stain it.
Okay. This is going to hold my cast iron Dutch oven, um, a few of my other appliances. Okay, first coat of stain. stain. Looking good. It's in the house, guys. I'm going to let it sit for the night to dry. It's, it's dry, but I'm going to let it sit in the house overnight before I put things on it. So, it's in the house. I have some things on it. But it's not completely done. Um, I want to put curtains on it. I just haven't picked the curtains. Um, but we have the little rods and the hooks. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry, guys. I have the flash on for some reason. There we go. So those are the hooks. And it's going to be right across the top and bottom. So we just slide them open in the middle. I have a rod for the top and a rod for the bottom. But I haven't picked out a curtain yet. Um, I'm still working on that. But that's it. I have my Ninja Foodie at the bottom. My bread maker, my New Wave, my skillet, my Dutch oven, the trivet, and my... Cadco countertop burner when I pressure can so I don't have to run downstairs for some of this stuff or um, we had them all over on those shelves and it was so heavy that the shelves were pushing cracking the car the um, drywall on the inside so and then I'm going to have a nice country or nice top on here with like a decorative section or something I might do something with a doily or some kind of little place mat and some flowers and then put this candle lamp on there um not sure yet but it's sitting in the house and we just got to get the curtains on